I'm Trudy with Heal Wellness and Therapy. As a physical therapist, I treat people every day with pain. But what exactly is pain? Well, pain is strongly connected with how much inflammation you have in your body. We know that inflammation is part of the immune system. And whether you are dealing with an injury of your muscle bone or joint that is acute in nature, maybe it has the word itis connected to it, or maybe you're dealing with a more chronic disease of inflammation and pain that has an osis or something at the end of the wording, pain is difficult to control. We know that opioids are constantly being overprescribed and individuals are finding ways to take care of treating pain and inflammation every day. As a wellness advocate for doTERRA, I have been searching for ways that I can kind of fuse using essential oils with my practice of physical therapy. So my goal for today, to teach you a little bit about essential oils and particularly three essential oils that have some research to show its effectiveness on pain and inflammation, as well as to make a homemade roll-on that you can apply to a joint or to a muscle that might be causing you some issues. Step number one, you need the right tools. The products we are using today, we will have affiliated links in the description below. For making a roll-on, you need a roll-on kit. Amazon provides really nice roll-on kits at a very nice cost. Step number two, you need to have essential oils. I will be using clinical therapeutic grade oils from doTERRA today, but as long as you have the oils that I will be referencing, if it is another brand, that is up to you, but we will have the affiliated link below for doTERRA. When working and using essential oils, particularly when you are placing them on the skin. Precaution to you, it is important to use a carrier oil. My two favorite carrier oils are emu oil or fractionated coconut oil. We will be using coconut oil today, but emu oil or any other carrier oil is good to use. Just don't apply the essential oils directly to your skin. Some essential oils can harm your skin. Step number two is about our pain relieving ingredients or essential oils we're gonna be using today. But before we get into those, I need to have a little lesson with you on pain in your body, specifically related to your immune system. So have you ever heard of the endocannabinoid system, ECB? It sounds very complex, but let me break it down super simple for you. Our endocannabinoid system is a system of our body that helps control pain as well as things like anxiety and depression. We have two types of receptors in our endocannabinoid system. ECB1 or endocannabinoid 1 receptors that are primarily in your brain and your central nervous system as well as ECB2 or endocannabinoid 2 receptors. These are primarily in your blood and more importantly, part of your immune system. Why talk about the endocannabinoid system? Well, have you ever heard of tetrahydrocannabidiol or THC? Or how about cannabidiol, CBD? Well, did you know that THC and CBD have endocannabinoid 1 and 2 receptors, which mean that these things affect our nervous system and our immune system. That's good news. I bet you you've even heard of CBD oil recently. Do you know why? Well, did you know that the Agricultural Act of 2018 changed the usage of CBD in our country? Most states at this point, you can use CBD from hemp. Some states, you can even use CBD and THC from cannabis. They're very effective and the research continues to grow in their usage for affecting our nervous system as well as our immune system. The big problem though, the purity of these as well as the potency of these. All right, enough with the lecturing. So why even talk about this? Well, Kapiva. 
the main constituent in Capyba is BCP, beta carophyllene. What is that? Well, beta carophyllene has ECB2 receptors. Remember the receptors I told you that affect your immune system? Therefore can affect inflammation? Therefore can affect pain. Our second ingredient today, frankincense. Did you know that it is the king of essential oils? Also known as Boswellia. There are actually four types of frankincense, if you did not know that. But it is a strong ingredient for pain relieving, anti-nausea, and anti-inflammation. In fact, since 2014, there are studies out there on its uses with cancer patients to reduce nausea and pain. Our final essential oil, wild orange. Now, surely you've consumed orange juice or had an orange at some point nutritionally, but did you know that citrus or orange actually has pain relieving and anti-inflammatory effects? A study in 2008 on subjects with knee pain not a large sample size, but 59 individuals were broken into two groups and received weekly massage therapy for six weeks. The difference between the two groups? Nothing but the fact that one group had normal massage oil and the second group, they added orange to the massage oil as they did the massages. Subjectively, after six weeks, the massage oil and orange essential oil group, 50% reduction in their knee pain compared to the other group. The caveat, once the massages had halted and there was no longer the usage of the essential oils on the knees, the knee pain returned. So one quick thing to say about often usage of topicals over painful joints or muscles, you need to do it regularly for it to be effective. Finally, to make our pain relieving roll on. Take your roll on kit, specifically the 10 milliliter vial. Start with your Capiva. 10 drops of Capiva, followed by your frankincense, 10 drops, followed by your citrus or orange, 10 drops. Once all 30 drops are in your vial, fill it up with your coconut oil, fractioned coconut oil, or you can use emo oil, oil or any other oil that you would like to complete to the 10 milliliters. Once your vial is full, taking the roll-on cap and simply pushing it down to complete the roll-on and finally closing the cap so that you don't make a mess anywhere in your house. Now to its usage. So you've got your completed pain relieving roll on. It's this simple. Wherever you hurt, gently roll it on. Blot it, don't rub it off. If you rub it off, it doesn't allow it to transduce into the skin. So simply roll it and gently blot it. Allow the fractionated coconut oil or emu oil to get the essential oils to transduce in the skin. Bonus, it smells great. Allow yourself to use it up to three to four times per day as you feel fit. I hope you enjoy your roll on. We would love to hear from you, so give us a comment. Also, one final note. I recommend the healing power of essential oils. Lots of recipes, just like the one that I gave you today, and really good education on how to learn to use essential oils. In the description below, we will provide you an associate link for this book. Finally, thanks for joining me. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Next to the subscribe, you'll see that bell. Select the bell and you'll be notified of any new videos that we release. Thanks and have a great day.